dubbed a monument of shame. This enormous bronze statue has provoked anger among Senghalese Muslims. Offended by the scantily clad trio now overlooking the country's capital, those opposed to the $28 million statue staged a protest at its official unveiling. We're not foreigners and we think it's ugly. Foreigners should be able to say that without being accused of neo-colonialism. Art should be judged as good or bad. According to the artist, the monument to the African Renaissance represents Africa's rise from intolerance and racism, a work to be proud of. We Senegalese are happy to have participated in its creation. In a few years, it will be known and recognized as one of the wonders of the world. People will visit it and come back to see it again. Forming a new backdrop to working-class neighbourhoods in Dakar, crippled by daily water and electricity shortages, finding the money for the artwork has been controversial. But it's hoped the statue, which is a central part of Senegal's 50th anniversary of independence, will now generate a much-needed income. Jenny Wivell, BBC News.